Happy New Year! Hello everybody, you're all very welcome to The Big Review Ski with Chicago Town Pizza. We're back for our first show of 2022. My name's Owen, there's Rory, and if one of your New Year's resolutions is to eat lots more Chicago Town Pizza, then you've come to the right place, because we have got some free pizza just for you. All you have to do to be in with the chance of winning those Chicago Town goodies is head over to the Big Review Ski Twitter account and enter our competition there. The very best of luck. For this week's show, what we're doing is we're taking a look at our top 10 favorite picks of movies coming out in 2022. There's so many to choose from, but Roy, we're starting off with a little bit of a bang. Yeah, uh, the erotic thriller is finally making a comeback, and I cannot wait to just really celebrate it with people who love thrillers, which are also erotic. This is Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas in Deep Water, which is directed by Adrian Lin, who previously directed Unfaithful and Fatal Attraction. It's exactly what I, it's exactly what we all need in 2022, just to just really get the year off on, a, on the right foot. Our second pick is due to come out in March 2022. It is, of course, The Batman, starring the Robert Pattinson, the Zoe Kravitz, the Paul Dano, and the Irish contingent of the Colin Farrell, and the Barry Keoghan. That's probably really annoying, isn't it? Anyway, the excitement is very real. Our next pick is Lost City of D, which is due out in April 2022. It's Sandra Bullock playing a romantic novelist who goes on a book tour with the hunky dude who's always in the cover of her novels, and he's played by Channing Tatum, and they get caught up in a real-life kidnapping plot. So it's Basically romancing the stone, but set in 2021 and with two of the most charming, attractive people in the world. Watch out, it's a sequel Asaurus. That's a really bad Jurassic Park joke. It's to celebrate the release of Jurassic World Dominion, which will be coming out later on in 2022. We will have Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard returning in their roles from the newer movies. But even more importantly and excitedly than that, we will have Sam Neill, Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum, all three of them thought long extinct, they will be returning to reprise their original Jurassic Park roles. And uh, oh, it's just going to be like a little 10 year old kid again watching this film. Cannot wait. Jurassic World Dominion. So coming in July 2022 is Thor Love and Thunder, which is also written and directed by Taika Waititi, who gave Thor a bit of a turnaround with uh, Thor Ragnarok. It's all the cast from the previous ones and now included. We've got Christian Bale playing a bad guy. Russell Crowe, I think, is playing one of the gods. So really adding to the cast. Natalie Portman's back. The posters and everything we've seen already really seems to be leaning into that kookiness that we got from Ragnarok, uh, which is officially one of everyone's favourite MCU movies. If it's anything like that one, this one would also be great. Also coming out in July 2022 is Nope. This is the next horror from the beautiful big brain of Jordan Peele. He brought us Get Out. He brought us Us. So you know he's going to be on to a surefire winner with this. What else do you need to know? Just go and see it. We almost picked Top Gun Maverick, but instead we're going to go with the other Tom Cruise 2022 blockbuster due out in September. It's Mission Impossible 7. Fallout was one of the best action movies of all time, arguably, question mark. So if... We can expect something similar this time around. Uh, I think we can get very excited about that. And it's actually got some cast members from the very original, like the first one, the 96 Mission Impossible is coming back for this one. So I am excited to see what Tom Cruise throws himself off this time. Due to come out in October 2022 is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2 following on from the success of the amazing Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse that was released back in 2018. Sony Pictures were so excited about the sequel, they actually greenlit it before the first one was even released and they were right to do so because everybody loved that amazing movie. Uh, the geniuses Phil Lord and Chris Miller are both back there writing this brand new sequel and even if it's like a quarter as good as that 2018 movie, then we're in for a very tasty treat. Our ninth pick for 2022 comes out in December I can't believe it's actually <laughs> I've I like we've been hearing about this for 13 years now I think but it's Avatar not gonna 2 it's not gonna happen. is supposed to be arriving in cinemas December 2022 it's not gonna happen. It's before not gonna we happen. get Avatar 3 4 5 and maybe 6 I think I forget 
James talks a lot about the sequels, but apparently two is coming. So it's still officially the biggest box office hit of all time. Can he do it again? We'll find out in December. Our very final pick of movies to look forward to in 2022. It's oh, We're cheating just a little teeny tiny bit. There were so many amazing films due to come out that we're going to roll all these last ones just into one pick and you just have to accept it because it's our show and that's just the way it is. So without further ado, we're also looking forward to <gasps> Scream, Belfast, Jackass Forever, Uncharted, Ambulance, Lightyear, Minions, The Rise of Gru, Black Adam, Super Mario Bros, Halloween Ends, A Quiet Place spin-off, Black Panther 2, Aquaman 2, Hocus Pocus 2, Doctor Strange 2, Ant-Man 3, Fantastic Beasts 3, Legally Blonde 3 and... <gasps> John Wick 4. Rory, uh, excited about all of those as well, our number one pick? I'm, I'm, I'm like more excited and I'm impressed by the the speed at which you rattled them off. But uh, yeah, every single one of them. Can't wait. It's going to be quite the year. Please do stay with us on The Bigger View. See, you can subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcasts. You can also subscribe on the Joe.ie YouTube channel as well. Rory will be back. I'll be back. And a big thank you to Chicago Town Pizza. And we can't wait to see you next week. Bye. I'll be back. Bye.